And on goes the tire. On top of new bearings, new springs, new shocks, new saddles, new isolators, and the same brake pads, because they were good. Make sure you line up your lugs before you lift it up, or... Yeah, you got the tire on upside down. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Why is she fighting me? Oh, man, everything's fighting me today, Ronnie. Every Ronnie with an IE. One is done. And here goes the other one. Yippee ki yay. Getting her done. What I found was that it's much easier to keep your, your shock loose down below put it in position and then tighten it up. So I'm doing it differently on the other side. I'm still learning guys. I mean, how long have I, how many cars have I done? So far. All right, vacuuming is done. And look what I found in the little reservoir that sits there's like a little shelf underneath, an old uh, spacer for front end alignment. <laughs> All clean. Here we go. Put the tire, put that last tire on. She's well. She's going backwards. All right. Tighten her up, bringing her down, and rolling her. And we're also doing a flush of the power steering uh, reservoir and system. So we're gonna run the engine, turn it back and forth with the line out. <laughs> and put type F trans fluid in there. That's all you can put in this. Heads up. It says it on the cat. Yeah, guys, she's definitely sitting lower. I haven't, we haven't even really rolled her yet, but the, uh, she's definitely sitting lower in the front end. That's a good sign. I'm feeling good about this. Now, uh, the power steering's flushed out. And every, everything else is good to go. I got one bad lug nut that has no threads on it. So we're going to have to get that lug nut. But we are ready to roll. Arizona. Here we come. Just We just need a darn lug nut. Darn it. I'm glad the threads are good on the hub. I think I've expressed how much God protects me in these road trips. Lord knows I need it. But this young man, well, he's not a young man. He's 27 years old said to me, did you check the gear oil? And I'm like, no, it's in the notes. And he goes, well, it's gonna be a real bummer having to say a Mustang Medic is on the side of the road with a blown rear, nine inch rear. So I'm going in, I got the gear oil, I got the tools, let's get her done. It's so hard doing this with one hand with a camera. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pop this, I'm gonna check gear oil. And I've got my uh, my pipe gasket too, so I'm gonna use that also. I don't see any leaking on this at all. But with some of the stuff we found, it's probably better safe than sorry to check literally all your fluids. And that's good. I'll top it off, but that's good. It's that's fresh oil in there. Love it. Frank, you did good with this car. You did good. It was your darn fuel pump that was stopping you from riding to the last year of your life. Wow, well, we're good. Looks really clean in there too, which is good news. All right, gear oil is kind of a messy job and uh, this one's not gonna be any different. And that means we're good. She's done.
front springs, front isolators. <laughs> Seatbelt. <laughs> I thought I heard something hanging. I'm like, God, what the hell could that be? Uh, I flushed her um, power steering. I gave her new saddles, new springs, new shocks, new back shocks. And I'm taking her down the road, guys. I assume I'm going to stay here tonight. And then tomorrow morning, I ride. The epic road trip is actually on the road, and it's out of preparation. So far, she feels pretty good, but you know what has to happen. I gotta get to like 50, 60 miles an hour and see what she feels like. All right. <laughs> We're back on the road, guys.